Hey guys, welcome back to the Steel Forum. Today we have a video for all of you structural steel estimators out there who are using Blue Beam Review to calculate your weights, count up everything else. It's a great product. We use it all the time here. We use it to do estimates for some of our customers who uh, don't have time to complete all their estimating or you know are trying to fill that surge in. We do that in addition to detailing. So if you happen to need that work, let us know. In the meantime, we're going to teach you how to use the function to calculate the surface area of steel shapes so that you can figure out those paint numbers if you need to. Uh, it basically follows the same procedure that we use for the structural steel weight, uh, but you do have to create an additional column. You can't use the same one over again. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. All right, so I am working on this project for our friend Tommy out in Illinois. We are calculating the steel weight for the entire project. But also, on this one, we want to do the surface area so you can figure out just how much paint he needs. So, obviously, I've already put this in, but I'm going to walk you through the steps. All right, so what you want to do is you want to pull up your markups list. If you don't see this, the reason is that you got to click, come down here, and you click this little arrow to bring this up. You're going to go to your markups list. You're going to go to columns. You're going to go to manage columns. Okay. Custom columns, there are three new values that you need to add in here. Okay. It's going to be perimeter data, perimeter, and total surface area. I'm going to walk you through each one. Okay, so for perimeter data, it's going to be a, you can click the add button. I click modify because it's already in there. It's going to be the type choice. The reason we use choice is because Bluebeam doesn't actually use a function to go pull in Excel data, but it, what it does do, what it will do is let you populate a list of options from a comma separated value sheet. Now, this one for the surface area, I went through the AISC shapes database and I took the surface, the perimeter of shapes that's available for wide flange. I created one by calculating it for pipe, for round tube, and for square HSS. The square HSS or rectangular HSS is just a simple perimeter value. It doesn't calculate the rounds. It's not worth it at this level. And if you wanna do that, you have fun, go ahead and do it yourself. But if you do want this uh, spreadsheet to just import on your own, send us an email. I'll be happy to hook you up with it and follow you through any steps. Matter of fact, this whole video comes as a result of an email that we got from our friend David, who is out in Utah trying to do this exact, exact same thing. So David, how's it going? All right, so you've got your perimeter data choice. You're gonna press the import button. You're gonna find that, that comma separated value sheet that you've already created in that you need to have three different tables. There is line A is going to be your shape data, okay? It's gonna be the size, so W36 by 360. Column B is gonna be the same thing repeated again, okay? And then column C is gonna be the actual number that you're tra trying to pull in. In this case, it's the perimeter in inches of the steel shape that you've selected, okay? So we would select blue beam surface area if you've emailed us and gotten the list. Otherwise, use whatever CSV data you've got there, okay? And it's gonna populate these three rows, item, subject, and number. Now what happens here is that when you select one of these boxes or one of these shapes, you type in, okay, this is a W12 by 14. It's looking into that subject bar, which is usually up here, and it's going to find something that matches. So that's why you have the same data in one and two. Now, something you don't want to fall for, which I have fallen for, is the shape database has a capital X instead of a lowercase x. So you got to do a find and replace and fix that. Otherwise, it, it does a case sensitive search and it's not going to find the information that you're looking for. So you're going to go in here, you're going to import the data, you're going to press OK. So the numbers that you see here are your perimeter data. Okay. Then you need another line to actually pull that perimeter data, which it thinks of as text, into a number that Bluebeam can work with. Okay, so that's where we've created perimeter. So the formula for perimeter is simply an expression. Okay, you're gonna choose type formula. It's a simple expression called perimeter data. When you go to start typing in here, you'll see that it auto-populates. Just select this one and you'll be done. Make sure you press it. Totals, actually, you want to turn that off. Including totals should be off because it's just a uh, intermediary value. It's just used to calculate the value that's important, which is the surface area. You're going to turn off including totals. Then you're going to come down here. 
and you can add total surface area. This is calculated in square inches. If it, you want to calculate for square foot, obviously you've got to modify this. Okay, so that formula is simple. Again, it will auto-populate, but you're going to do perimeter times length times quantity, and then times 12 because the length is calculated in feet, not inches. Okay, and once you do that, you're gonna press save to profile. Some of you will get an error message that says something about it's gonna try this every time. Go ahead and press okay to that and you'll be fine. Okay. Now, if you've already created your toolbars here with all of the shapes that you're using, you will have to go in and add uh, more properties to these. Um, so for instance, we've got one here. Let's delete this just so I can walk you through it. Got one on my toolbar for 16 by 26. And I'm gonna go ahead and select perimeter data. It's gonna give me the option, the only option for W16 by 26. And then it's gonna fill out the rest. And you can see this, the square, the surface area of this piece is 15,800 square inches. Okay, so that's it. They're pretty simple. Uh, there's you know some complications that could trip you up here and there if you do it wrong, but if you follow these instructions, you'll you'll be all right. Now, a lot of people make the same mistake when they're trying to set this up for the first time, and I get a lot of emails about it, so I'm going to talk about it right now, just so that you don't make the same mistake. A lot of people get to here, and they want to press import to import the data. Don't do that. You've got to press first this add button, and then switch to choice and then you're importing the choices. Otherwise, you're, it's, it's gonna give you, an, try to open up an XML file, as you can see here, because that's a whole list of custom columns. Because if you do a lot of work for different people and you need different setups for different profiles, you can have a whole bunch of different custom column setups. That's what it's looking for. You can export your custom column setup and then import it later. I'm gonna be trying to produce more Bluebeam estimating videos. They seem very popular. It seems like it's something that a lot of you are trying to do and are struggling with out there. Uh, the next one coming up is how to calculate those stud counts. The quickest and easiest way, uh, what you might be doing might just be a little bit more work intensive than what you need to do. All that more next time here on the Steel Plan.